Okay, so now we are up to step seven. So we are going to attach the back piece, back pattern piece, to the front, which has the sleeves on there. So I've just laid my back piece flat, right side facing up. I'm going to get my front piece, which has my sleeves attached. Okay, and I'm just going to focus on doing a very similar thing what we just did in the previous step. So I'm going to find the other seam, the other edge of my sleeve, the curved one, and join it up with the back curve. Okay, so very similar to what we just did with the front. Don't worry about anything else matching, just this seam line. Remember, we don't want to pull our stretch fabric, we will just move it around. Okay, so that's lined up nicely. What's my next step? I rule and measure my 1.5 centimetre seam allowance. As you get more confident with sewing, you'll find it repeats itself quite a bit. Always the same stages and steps you go through. Okay, I'm now going to straight stitch and then zigzag or overlock this edge. Okay, so once again, also very important to check your machine settings okay, before we start sewing. So this is still on zigzag stitch from when I previously used it. So make sure I turn it back to zero for a straight stitch and check your stitch length. If it is your first time using the machine today, please do your practice run. Okay, I've also pinned that in place. Okay, press a foot, needle turns in. Fix up my pedal. Stitch, reverse. Okay, now just tracing my line that I have there. Remember not to pull your fabric. You can always stop and fix it up. Reverse at the end. Always trim the cotton. Now turn it to zigzag. Okay, it's changing your stitch width. You can take the pins out and put them away. Nice neat workstation. And I'm going to zigzag stitch because I don't have an overlocker at home. Just to show you one side before I go and sew the other. Okay, so I've got two seams. This eventually is going to form the sleeve. So the underside, my underarm. Can you sort of see that there? Yay! So now let's do the same to the other side. Cool. So, so far your jumper should be looking something like this. Um, so the next step, if you have a look in your instruction booklet, if you are not having a hood, you will be putting the neck band on. I'm making it with a hood though, so I'm going to skip this step and I'm going to go straight to step number 15 in the next video. 13, 14, 15. To, to the hood. So I'll see you there.